Now, the big answer to that question is, of course, yes. Anybody can do anything they put their minds to. And YouTube has tons and tons of space for any creator to do anything they want to, so long as it's something you're passionate about and something you can consistently stick to. So the bigger questions now become, do you want to become famous on YouTube? The first one, which is the choice. Do you decide whether or not you want to become famous on YouTube? So do you want to become famous on YouTube? The second question is how? Will you achieve this so-called fame and numbers and monetization or money? And the third question is, will it work or will you become famous? And the last question I think should be answered is, should you become famous on YouTube? So the first one is the do you want to, which is if you answer yes, you should continue watching this video. If you answer no, then you might just skip to another video altogether because this might not be for you. Now, if you do select yes, how do you become famous or how do you get numbers on YouTube? There are lots and lots of schools of thought on how to become famous or how to get numbers or how to monetize your channel, how to gain more subscriptions and all of that. So many of them and a lot of them have uh, similarities, a lot of similarities whereby most of these people that teach you how to become famous or gain numbers talk about the fact that you need to first of all decide what exactly you want to do what value are you creating as a content creator what are you sharing are you an entertainer or people actually get real value of teaching them things when they watch your videos so you need to decide what exactly you want to do it's very important the second thing is you need to get good equipment to back this creation or this content you want to create now there are tons and tons of equipment out there the choices are up to you and your budget i can't decide for you and uh, the third thing is planning and plotting your content everything has to be deliberate everything has to be quality and the presentation also actually really really matters so your content your presentation of the content and the last thing i think is consistency of putting out content that will make or that will improve your chances of getting numbers for this platform and chances of monetizing your channel in the first place now the other thing i do hear a lot is algorithms yes whereby your thumbnail your titles and keywords also improve your chances of youtube suggesting your video to people to watch or for advertisers or whatever it is if it's attractive enough you are going to get the numbers now all these things i'm going to leave you to research for yourself because i'm no expert so the algorithm your thumbnail your titles the content the consistency the presentation um, deciding on exactly what you want to do because when you are just bouncing in and out of different styles of YouTube or ideas, chances are you're going to lose people because people want to, your, your channel to be known for something. So when they want to find out a lot about maybe the news of things with movies happening around the world, they come to your channel, they know where to go. But if today they come and it's movies and tomorrow it's lifestyle and tomorrow it's sports, they're not really sure what to do with your channel. I, for example, started this YouTube channel as a self-development platform to also chronicle my new journey of becoming a freelance filmmaker and photographer after being a radio presenter for about eight years. So it's a self-development channel here and this is all I do, improving ourselves, learning more and becoming a better person. That is what my channel is about. So that is the how or the how bit making sure that you're consistent, you're putting out, and it's a lot of work. If somebody told you that it's easy, it's a lie. It's a lot of work. A lot of YouTubers who are now full-time YouTubers had previous jobs, they were doing YouTube and combining. Slowly, slowly, gradually, they became full-time YouTubers. I am not a full-time YouTuber. What I do on the side of this every week or so is freelance documentary filmmaking and photography. And of course, I'm a voice actor as well, so I do that on the side. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. So that is the how. The algorithms will be in your favor if you follow some of these steps. And that is what you need to know. Now the question is, the next question is, will it work? I don't know if it will work. Only you can find out for yourself if you actually 
put it into practice and be diligent with it, be consistent with it. Not that you do a little bit. I mean, the quality has to be through and through. You should be known for something through and through. Now, when I talk about the quality, is is also to do with the personality as well, because you can watch a lot of YouTube videos and you see that some YouTube channels have really good looking videos. However, they don't have the numbers they're supposed to have. And people have over 2 million, 8 million views and they are practically filming with their phone. It's the personality and what they're talking about. So there's no hard and fast rule of you buying a lot of equipment and having expensive setups that is tied to your success on YouTube. There's a lot more that goes on behind whatever will make you go faster. And I think personality and the storytelling and the things you put out has a lot to do with it more than your setup. So will it work? Let's see you try with having more catchy or catchier um, titles, uh, consistent thumbnails and excellent presentation. It's not easy talking to the camera, sitting down and talking to this device. It's not easy. It's not the easiest thing staring into the lens, trying to make sense of something. So. These are some of the things you can do. So if you do follow this path, you have to remember that it won't happen overnight. A lot of uh, the big YouTubers um, have been doing this for years and years and years. I've been doing this for just four months and I honestly don't expect my channel to blow up anytime soon. And that is the reality. So expectations also do matter in this um, part of YouTube or in this aspect of YouTube. Manage your expectations. Don't expect that you're going to be blowing up immediately you started. Unless you're doing something really bizarre, I don't know if it's going to work like that for you. So will it work? Only you can find out. Now the other thing or the last question is, should you become famous on YouTube? Now that's another question you can answer. Now a lot of the full-time YouTubers need to be constantly putting out content and it's not easy um, devising new ideas and creating and coming to sit and talk and the, the time it takes to edit unless you have maybe help with editors and everything the time away from your family though the, the, some part of your life is going to take a knock you know you have to decide if you should really or you really want to do this and it's going to be fine for you if it's not going to be fine for you in the end, I don't think this is what you really want to do. But if you can find a balance, then by all means, go ahead. So if you think that you want to become famous and you do anything to become famous and you do get the fame and you realize that it's taking a lot from you because you, you need to be constantly relevant and be putting out a lot of content and you realize that, no, it really isn't making my overall quality of life the kind of life that I want, then it might not be for you. So. Yeah, these are some of the questions you should ask yourself about wanting to become big on YouTube. Some of us create because we want to create and constantly practice our craft of filmmaking. I don't know how to put it, but yeah, that's just what I have to say about can we all become famous on YouTube? The answer is a big fat yes, but going through the rest of the questions, do you, how, will you, should you, it's left to you to decide at the point. So yeah, if you found something from this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, do check out the rest of my or other videos on this platform. This channel is called It's Okay and it's a self-development channel. And I'd like it if you check out some of my other videos. And yeah, I'll catch you again another time. I may not be doing a video like this again, but I'll be posting videos as often as I can. In the meantime, yeah, cheers, peace, adios.